uh, let's glance back to the holiday shortened week. It seems that Africa's bosses uh, were uh, generally read across the, across the board last week. And uh, despite the fact that we're going into a holiday weekend, the market mood appeared to have soured as we closed out the week. It was hard to see markets where people were actually excited and pushing prices into positive territory. I think we saw Nigeria close uh, the week up 1.4%. That's in US dollars. Um, so that seemed to be a little uh, active. Two companies came out with results there, which I think surprised the market by and large. Dangote Cement, UACN, a big cap companies and, and really uh, ones that bellwethers, as some say. Uh, true enough. And in the case of uh, Dangote, the volume output capacity utilization that they managed to come through was much higher than a lot of people were expecting. So we saw market participants adjusting their weightings there, or at least their expectations, and pushing the price up about 2.4%. Uh, UACN was also up quite, uh, quite a lot, up 3.5%. That's also on the back of results it had uh, released. Revenues were up 22%, which was in excess of inflation. Uh, but I think what really excited people was the fact that they managed to restructure the debt uh, that they had on their books. And they also managed to receive the proceeds um, of a sale of the foods business to Tiger Brands, uh, which came back to help uh, profit after tax uh, quite significantly. Definitely we're one we're eyeing right now, given that that JV is, is said to be quite key for the company, both companies in fact. Uh, overall though, uh, let's, let's look throw forward to this week. Uh, South Africa's market is performing well today. What are your feelings as to how the rest of Africa's markets are going to perform uh, in this uh, holiday shortened week once again? Well, we did see the, the run-up um, in the year so far come through quite strong. I think a lot of people were seeing risk measures for markets abroad falling quite dramatically. VIX was down 33% at one stage um, and has since um, sort of clawed back some ground. So I think that indicated that we were going to see price movements come through quite significantly. This week, however, as um, you can see in many markets, volumes are thin, very few people are participating, and that's not likely to, to drive prices. And even if it does, we're not expecting large movements and we're not expecting those movements to be permanent because you sort of need volume to be behind that to make sure that it's uh, a real trend. Is, is this a big problem that you're noticing right now because it seems that volumes have really been bleak uh, for some time now uh, for African markets and, and it, it is a concerning trend that we're starting to see across the board. It's been a combination of a lot of things that have come to affect our volumes in the different markets from uh, incoherent legislation in some markets to places where company information has not yet come out so traders and investors have not been moving on the positions they have waiting for that information to come through. Um, so as more of that news sort of comes through, we will see more participation. By and large, I think the biggest drivers for liquidity are going to be international participation in a lot of those markets. And people tend to try and understand what is happening in the West before they deploy uh, capital across our markets out here in so, so which of the African markets right now do you sense that uh, foreign investors have the best conviction on in terms of wanting to get exposure to in light of the fact that there's a lot of uncertainty and it's still a lot of risk aversion globally? Well, we are seeing conviction going up and conviction going down. If you look at Egypt, for example, the markets now well was down 5.1% 5, 5 last week in US dollars. A lot of people decidedly making the move to exit the market because they're not happy um, about what is taking place as far as the presidential selection is concerned. One of the economic uh, weeklies uh, labeled it the battle of the beards. And I think that will rage on for, for quite some time. And we will see that play out in the markets. Elsewhere, I think you see the improvement is coming through so we will see prices creep up but I so think if it's you had to bet on time. one market I suppose for the rest of April to be an art performer which one would you say it would be uh, putting uh, your predictive hat on and looking into that glass ball I always like Nigeria so we'll see what happens there